Ladies and gents, welcome back. Justin Trudeau's hate-filled words are coming back on him full circle this week as a new trend is happening on the interwebs. A new trend on Twitter, according to Trudeau, is uh, taking off, and a lot of people are contributing to this. This started by Marty Upnorth's fact-checking twin brother. <laughs> he, uh, there's an article here from the Counter Signal. I'll get into that in a minute, but it all started with him posting this to social media. I'm a 55-year-old Canadian. I'm married, father to four, university-educated and perfectly bilingual. I'm an engineer solving problems for 35 years. I'm a volunteer hockey coach and an avid outdoorsman. According to Trudeau, I'm an extremist who needs to be dealt with. Hashtag Trudeau must go. Now, a lot of people contributing to this. The trend is it just it doesn't end. You can keep going through this. Uh, 52 year old wife, mother of two adult daughters, working 25 years in public service and the 17 and the last 17 in children's mental health. The job I loved be, I believe, in freedom to choose what you what's in your own best interest, according to Justin Trudeau. I am an extremist that needs to be dealt with. Again, I'm 25 years old, full-time mother of two and stepmother to one. I like playing video games and painting. I'm, hap I'm happily taken by a man who makes me laugh and I love cuddles with my cat. According to Trudeau, I'm an extremist who needs to be dealt with. Hashtag Trudeau must go. And the trend just keeps going and going and going. Thousands of Canadians chiming in on this trend. And with the same message, according to Justin Trudeau, I'm an extremist and needs to be dealt with. <laughs> That's great. I love that. Um, I added to it as my as as well myself. I'm a 40 year old automotive mechanic, loving husband, and proud father of two beautiful bicultural children. Active member of my community here in British Columbia. According to Trudeau, I'm an extremist that needs to be dealt with. Now the article from counter, the Counter Signal <laughs> lays this out: Canadians slandered by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau for refraining the experimental COVID vaccines are taking back the narrative with a viral Twitter trend. Across the country, Canadians are posting, according to Trudeau, I'm an extremist, to their timelines, followed by a description about themselves. I'm a 35-year-old Canadian. I'm a widow and single mother of five. I'm uni uh, university educated. I'm an accountant. I homeschool my kids, and I'm a hockey mom. According to Trudeau, I'm an extremist who needs to be dealt with. Hashtag Trudeau must go. I'm a 34. Uh, yeah, there, there's just a description of that. I'm 42 year old Canadian. I'm single. I'm a college educated. I'm a financial planner at family business, which we sold seven years ago. According to Trudeau, I'm an extremist who needs to be dealt with. Hashtag Trudeau must go. And it goes on and on. Uh, in September, Trudeau referred to millions of Canadians as likely to be racist, sexist extremists and people who don't believe in science. He also said perhaps they shouldn't be tolerated because they refuse to submit to his coercive tactics to be inoculated with a vaccine approved under emergency use. In an interview, Trudeau said it's a small group that takes up room. Even American commentator Bill Maher thought Trudeau's comments went too far. He said he sounds like, well, the funny mustache man. Here we go. I started to read what he, he said. This is a couple of weeks ago. He was, or maybe this is September, but he was talking about people who are not vaccinated. He said they don't believe in science. They're often misogynistic, often racist. No, they're Ooh, not. That was not that, smart of him at all. Right. He said... But they take up space. Mm. And wow. with that, we have to make a choice in terms of a leader as a country. Do we tolerate these people? It's like, tolerate these? Now you do that's, sound like no, Hitler. That's, mm -hmm. that, that would... uh, and recently, he talked about them holding, holding unacceptable views. Wow. This, I'm yeah. surprised to hear that Trudeau said those things. You didn't see the blackface? I mean, he... <laughs> he's, he's, uh, no, I'm kidding about it. I'm not... I'm not I mean, that was not a good look for him. No, but I, I, I mean, come on. I mean, that's, I think, what gets under people's skin.
They started to read what... Absolutely, and it's starting to reflect back on him in this beautiful trend that of people sharing their insights. Critics said Trudeau's comments were hate speech under Canadian law, but nothing has come about legally. Section 319-2 of Canada's code, or Section 2, uh, states, Everyone who, by communicating statements other than in private conversation, willfully promotes hatred against an identifiable group is guilty of an in indictable offense and is liable to imprisonment for a term not exceeding two years or offense punishable by, in summary, conviction, emphasis added. Trudeau has not been charged with a crime or even penalized or even apologized. Instead, the prime minister continues to slander anyone who challenges his vaccine mandates, saying they have unacceptable views. I'm a mother. I'm a 33, 33-year-old mother of four, college educated. I've worked in animal care for 15 years. According to Trudeau, I'm an extremist that needs to be dealt with. And it just goes on and on and on. This is the trend that's happening on Twitter right now. Go on Twitter, check it out, and you can see thousands of Canadians voicing their opinions about, well, the, <laughs> the Trudeau and his opinions of these unacceptable Canadians out there. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this trend. I think it's amazing. I think it's great. People clapping back at Trudeau for what he's done in, in more clever ways. We've seen all kinds of clever ways that people are bringing really good attention to these issues. And, well, this is just one other amazing, clever way of Canadians showing uh, support for one another in a time where the government officials want us all divided. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do that. Hit that notification bell. It lets you know when I go live. Sorry about last night's live uh, on Allison Moreau's channel. Uh, she had a baby. <laughs> so congratulations to Allison and her family having another, uh, another individual welcomed into this world. Uh, this is really, really good news, unfortunately. Uh, I didn't know about it, and it just happened uh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, so <laughs> congratulations to Allison, and sorry to everybody who was waiting for that live stream. Um, she's a champ. She sent me a message saying, can we do next week? I'm going <laughs> to tell her um, to chill out for a bit, but uh, as soon as she's ready, we'll have that conversation. So uh, tune into that. Stay tuned. We will definitely be having that. Anyway, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on trucking.